I'd like to take a special moment to, well, tell you how I feel about this. Uh, ooh! Uh, I know I'm uh, pretty much copying Game Grumps off of this, but it's just, it's too funny not to include somewhere in my, uh, in, in my Let's Play. Mm, yeah. And, uh, for posterity, let's go fucking finish the fight. Welcome to the finale, and welcome back. Uh, wel welcome back. You welcome back. Uh, this is the end. This is the last episode of Alex Plays Zelda Wind Waker Edition. Uh, APZ Wind Waker, APZ WW, if I may. I got the light arrow. It's over. I, I love that they give you this, this fucking weapon that just... Turns, turns your enemies into dust. Cause fucks it. Doesn't matter anymore. Uh, regular enemies do not matter anymore. It is all about Ganon. Like even this scary looking motherfucker. It's like, oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm dust. My armor just exploded. Hibbity habbity. Hey, hey, hey. It's just like game over. Now we're we're going into the actual controversial part of this game, which is like whether or not you like Puppet Ganon. Nice like back behind the back throw, I guess. Whatever, you turn to dust, man. Turn to sweet sweet fairy dust. Bloop, 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 bloop. Um, dust and oh no! Don't hit me with the. Their goatees don't fucking and don't tell me that those guys weren't goateed underneath that armor. I could tell they were the goatee guys. That means they have the most health. I know. I know how video games work. You you grow a goatee, and you get more health. Fact. Uh. But, you know, whatever. Let's finish it. Finish the fight. Blah, blah, blah. Way through the water. I think Pup again is fine. I don't, I don't think it's, like, actively super cool. I think it's a creative way to incorporate Ganon beast form into Wind Waker while maintaining its style. Anyway, it's time for Ganondorf to be a really cool villain. <gasps> Ooh. Did you sleep still? Do you sleep still? Excuse me. Wait. Do not be so hasty, boy. I can see this girl's dreams. Oceans, oceans. Oceans as far as the eye can see. They are vast seas. None can swim across them. They yield no fish to catch. What did the king of Hyrule say? The gods sealed Hyrule away. And they left behind people who would one day awaken Hyrule? How ridiculous. So many pathetic creatures scattered across a handful of islands. Drifting on this sea like fallen leaves on a forgotten pool. What can they possibly hope to achieve? Do you see all of you? Your gods destroyed you. I've been waiting for you, boy. For one like you, yes, for the hero. Do not betray my expectations. Fucking the creepy ass crackling sounds. That's such a great monologue from Ganondorf. I don't know, like, he feels, the way he talks, he feels better developed than he actually is. But, like, you know, that kind of disillusionment of, uh. A 
thought for a second it, was, it might actually say the boss's name, Puppet Ganon. I guess it doesn't. Um, there is a, this disillusionment that, like, you know, the, the game doesn't actually tell you too much about Ganondorf's motivations. It never really does, other than, like, I'm evil, I want power, I will always want power. I mean, like, with Demise in Skyward Sword, which we'll get to, uh, they, they tease that there is more there than what they're letting on. But I, you know, I'm really like to see a Zelda game where you know they go deep on this shit like I don't see why not because I mean fuck it why not right But, like, you know, he's clearly very bitter. Like, he feels like he's owed this land. Probably not rightfully, no. But, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Especially with, like, he, like, he is allegedly the cause for, uh, you know, Hyrule being sunk into the ocean, but, like, according to him, it's, it's the gods is the one that betrayed them and sunk Hyrule into the ocean and gave them false hope that they could get it back someday, like, that, that ancestors of those people that died in Hyrule that survived... Uh, like their their descendants that survived on the on the islands above would be able to reach Hyrule again. Yeah, he says like that, that's just a lie, and I, obviously it ends up being a lie because the king of Hyrule steals Hyrule under the sea to be like a just a a ruin, an Atlantis of sorts. Um. <sighs> Yay, no, no, blah, blah, blah. Wait, what? <laughs> I like the uh, little play with your expectations thing. I'm pretty sure I didn't know that this was coming. Um, when I originally played uh, this game. And I wasn't like, I wasn't like turned off, put off by it, but I was like kind of like pleasantly surprised that, like, like I said, you know, in this playthrough, like, that they incorporated Ganon, like Ganon, the beast that is Ganon, into the style of the game in a kind of smart way. You know, it's, a, it's original, it's different, it's, it's cool. Well, it's not cool, but it's, it's interesting. Not bad. It's, it's, it's like you know, it's a totally admirable thing. It's unique, you know. Just like everything in this game. Although the snake part of the puppy game fight's pretty dumb. Cause he just looks like the the, the fucking Baba or whatever boss from the fucking first boss from Link to the Past. And he functions like it as well. Damn it. Damn it. 
damn it. never actually come up here before during this fight. I wonder what happens if you attack, attack the cord. I guess you can't. Well, fuck it. That was well, a well-placed shot, clearly. Oh, sweet! I was hoping that would hit, but come on, didn't, didn't any of us really have any faith? No. Into the wolves. Give me some love, fairy. Oh yeah, I forgot how quick that is now. Appreciate that. Ain't nobody got time for fucking animations. Like, what is the point of stopping him? Like, it, you are not gonna be able to stop him with an arrow or your sword long enough for you to hit him with uh, another arrow. Like, we all know that. Why, why do you even have that in there? It's just silly. Thank God Zelda just up and vanished because she'd be fucking just pigskin under his dick now. Right, I'm seeing if I can hit it with my sword because that'd be cool. It look like a badass. So much for that. Alright, just let me get the fucking magic. How come I can't target him if he's like 10 feet away? That's dumb. See, like, this is why this boss fight is fucking stupid. And bad. Th just this part. Like, the other parts of the boss fights feel balanced and... Whatever. I feel like I'm out of magic. Ugh. I'm just gonna have to use this. I'm not gonna need it during the Ganondorf fight, I doubt, but still. It's fucking so stupid. There we go. Perfectly bullshit luck shot. As it should be with this fucking boss. It's just super annoying. He moves way too fast for any coherent kind of... Anything but luck to happen. I like that it just ends, though. And, like, that's it. Oh, yeah. This is... Yes, surely you are the hero of Time Reborn. Mm, yes, quite. Your time has come. Come now, stand before me. Just 
flies away because he's fucking Jesus. Jesus! This whole part of this final area is amazing. Like, don't don't get me wrong. Like, this... You come in here and you see, like, the water and everything and fucking Ganondorf hovering over Zelda's sleeping body in this wedding-veiled bed, kind of. And then he just, like, rips out from under the sheet as Puppet Ganon. It's fucking terrifying. Like, that's super cool. Puppet Ganon fights okay. Would be, would be great if it wasn't for the stupid snake part. And then you, like, climb up this giant antechamber from the Puppet Ganon cord, which is a clever way to incorporate incorporate it into that. And, you know, Ganon has that monologue. Basically, he's just doing everything to look and sound like the biggest badass in the whole fucking universe. And he's succeeding. And then, obviously, the final boss fight is just... It's the definition of epic. I feel like the Ganondorf boss fight in Twilight Princess is just chasing after it. As is, like, every Zelda boss fight. Except for the, the final boss in, in uh, Skyward Sword is, is pretty fucking awesome as well. Especially the scenery of that. Is, is, it's not as... Eh. Oh, it's been a while. It could be as awesome. I don't know. I thought it was really awesome when I, when I played it, so... It's gonna be weird playing Cyber Skyward Sword and, like, getting tired. And fucking waving my arm around. I'm trying to enjoy it while I can. I'm just having a goddamn controller in my hand. Then again, I don't really have to worry about that because it's going to take 45 years before it opens up into anything. <laughs> so... Oh, I can just hit it with my sword, man. Goddamn. I do appreciate that they just put a portal there. And fuck it. And just whatever. I'll catch this fairy in a bottle. It'll make my life e easier, I'm sure. Do, 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 do. There's one. Oh, fucking fairy. One pot over there. This is weird. That could end terribly. Beep. I like this all just wood. It's like kind of weirdly traditional Japanese pagoda style. Pretty dope. Oh, that is a big square of light. <laughs> Welp. And that's why cameras resist walls in this. So you get up here, somehow, <laughs> you get up here, and it's amazing. It just looks so cool. My country lay within a vast desert. When the sun rose into the sky, a burning wind punished my land, searing the world. And when the moon climbed into the dark of night, a frigid gale pierced our homes. No matter when it came, the wind carried the same thing, death. But the winds that blew across the green fields of Hyrule brought something other than suffering and ruin. I coveted that wind, I suppose. It can only be called fate that here I would again gather the three with the crests. That I should lay my hand on that which grants the wishes of the beholder. That when power, wisdom, and courage come together, the gods would have no choice but to come down. The power of the gods, the Triforce. He who touches it will have whatever he desires granted. It's interesting, like, also hearing Ganondorf reference, like, being a Gerudo member in the desert of the, you know, the Gerudo Valley and whatever, Gerudo Desert, and, like, how terrible it was. And, like, his people dying is, like, it makes him sound like someone who just wished to protect his people. It makes him sound less selfish than he's always portrayed as. Obviously, at the core, there's still selfish lust for power, but there's more depth there, and they never explore it. It's so disappointing. 
Already the crest of wisdom is mine. All that remains. face do not fear I will not kill you I merely have need of the power that dwells within you now let us put an end to that which binds us together left hands the dominant hands weirdly enough at least Lynx and Ganondorf's presumably Ganondorf's he's ambidextrous in this I say that because he carries two swords gods hear that which I desire Expose this land to the rays of the sun once more. Let them burn forth. Give Hyrule to me. He who touches it will have whatever he desires. Granted. He or she. That is what you said, is it not, Ganondorf? Fucking king of red lions. King of Hyrule. Daphne's. Repping it so hard. Gorts of the trifles. Hear that which I desire. Hope. I desire hope for these children. Give them a future. Wash away this ancient land of Hyrule. Let a ray of hope shine on the future of the world. Let our destinies finally be fulfilled. Ganondorf, may you drown with Hyrule. <laughs> uh, and then just the, the flood opens up and it starts raining. Which, you know, obviously raining on Ganon's tower and his fucking crazy laugh, which is awesome as well. Raining on Ganon's Tower is already a great set piece for a final battle. But, like, that water being the ocean pouring in, like the parted Red Sea coming back together after Moses' people cross, like, that kind of idea is very... is evoked very well here. This is foolishness. A future for you? What are you laughing at, Ganondorf? You're insane. I think I'm sorry, I overslept. I think it's time for us to say goodbye to this place. We must return to the world above, back to our ocean. Yeah, bro, past the joint. That's what that face said to me. <laughs> well then, allow me to show you. Whooshink! Your future. Yes, allow me to show you. Just what hope you have. See how much of your precious Triforce is worth. This fucking music, though. I'll use the bow to cover you. Attack him as best you can. I say Ganondorf is ambidextrous, also, uh, because he uses two swords. He looks so fucking badass with the the, 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 the fucking uh, little the hangy things, like the ropes. Uh, that, that hang from the swords, and they have like, you can see his fucking glowing Triforce on his hand.
He's like, I'm done with this shit. And put away sword. Bitch slapped. He's like, you dick! All right, I got this, guys. You know, if this wasn't badass enough for you. She's like, let me just get my hair dry. Serial. Like serial killer. Ah, oh, damn it! Tetra, Zelda, whoever the fuck you are. The, God, the way this fucking fight ends is so cool. It's fucking the perfect and amazing for this weirdly dark end to this game. Link, you have to distract him. Are you ready? I'm gonna aim for you. Sh for you. And you use your shield. Do you get it? That is it. Sword in face. And that is the end of Wind Waker. It is deep in. The wind is blowing. I love that. It's just, it's, that's such, like, with his monologue before both of them, it's the perfect way, it's the perfect final line for this villain because he said the wind that blew on his land brought nothing but death. And now the wind is blowing. And it brings him death. And, like, that's it. The Master Sword is now, it's like, its pedestal is now Ganondorf's fucking face. My children, listen to me. I have lived regretting the past, and I have faced those regrets. That's right, Daphne's. If only I could do things over again. Not a day in, of my life has gone by without my thoughts turning to my kingdom of old. I have lived bound to Hyrule. In that sense, I was the same as Ganondorf. But you... I want you to live for the future. There may be nothing left for you. But despite that, you must look forward and walk a path of hope. Trust him that it will sustain you when you when darkness comes. And again, the link to the past theme going on here, the Hyrule Castle theme. It's so perfect. Done in this like dramatic, depressing sonata. Elegy. This is the only world that your ancestors were able to leave you. Please forgive us. Wait, you could, you could come with us. Ah, oh, this music is so fucking good. Yes, of course, we have a ship. We could find it, we will find it. The land that will be the next Hyrule. So... Ugh, a child that land will not be Hyrule. It will be your land. And that effect of the water coming in and, and filling out to the ocean is really cool. And Link obviously wears a hat-shaped water bubble air protector. Oh, 
I like that you can see Ganondorf from the back of the Master Sword, like right there. And then he just lets his hand go down. It's fucking super bummer. He's super sad. I mean, like, I, it's like the captain going down with his ship, right? I've scattered the seeds of the future. But it's super fucking depressing. Holy shit. God, when I first beat this, one, like, seeing Link fucking stab Ganondorf's face was ridiculous. But then just, like, seeing that ending, super bummer. This is different. I'm pretty sure, like, when Link surfaced in the original GameCube version at this point, even in New Game Plus, he would have his uh, green clothes on now. Kamali. There's Errol. She's alright. She didn't get raped and eaten by the pirates. Good news, everybody. Good news, everyone! Yeah, I'm positive Link would have his green tunic on by now. So I guess it is a little different. I didn't save. Damn it. I didn't save after I got like the light arrow and stuff. Uh, I was planning on saving because uh, it doesn't fucking save after you beat the game, which is so fucking stupid. But luckily I saved right before I went into Hyrule. So, like, everything except what I did in Hyrule is saved. So, once I completed the, the fucking chart. In case I ever wanted to go back and, like, get all the heart pieces or anything. Just, just like, it's not a huge deal. I doubt I will, but. A.G. Anuma. Daiki Iwamoto. I think uh, Anuma originally directed this game, but I guess this is just for the HD. I don't know. I'm curious, like, like I, the director of a video game actually has like the most to do with like its story and concept and design. Uh, in my experience, it might be different in Japanese development. Um, so I'm just curious. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, Aanuma wrote it. Yeah, he directed it. A.A.G. Aanuma. You say a name is face first name it's e i j i written out in english um but yeah he directed this he wrote it with uh hajime takahashi and mitsuhiro takano i'd love to see a female directed legend of zelda game with a female main character just to put it out there and i don't know if that'll ever happen i'd love to see a lot of female directed uh, 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 Japanese video games. There we go. I'm looking at like directors of Zelda games. Ocarina of Time was Miyamoto. Twilight Princess was a Nima. Yep. Uh, Skyward Sword was a new... No! That was a different director. Was... Hedemaro Fujibayashi. Fujibayashi. Who directed Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Four Swords. Minish Cap. Huh. 
interesting that they would have someone who'd done like all the handheld stuff for Capcom direct Skyward Sword. I know Ada Numa's directing a uh, Zelda 2015, so whatever. You know, I'm just curious. I like again the director in Japanese uh, tiered development could be different. Like they could have different roles than like like I know like Neil Druckmann was the director of The Last of Us. Very uh. He, he had a very large part in every single bit of that game. So, to use an example, like, I've been learning more about directors of video games. Just like the director of a film, you know, has a lot of control over aspects of it. But hey, I beat Wind Waker. So by the time you were watching this, obviously not at the time of this recording, I'll, I'll have probably started A Link to the Past. Um, and yeah, I love A Link to the Past. Fuck knows, that's like my favorite Zelda game. I don't know. Like, my favorite Zelda game is so, like, I don't even know anymore. I've played through all of them. Like, I really liked Twilight Princess when I played through it. Like I mentioned a, a few episodes ago that I kind of wanted to go back and watch my playthrough of that. So I could re-experience it, because I kind of like itching to go back to that game for some weird reason. So I figure I could save time just by watching myself play through the game. Skip into the good parts and whatnot. Like I'm sure you guys are skipping through all of this right now. But uh up next is a link to the past, which is definitely one of my favorite Zelda games. God damn. I think after I beat a link to the past, I'm gonna play uh a Link Between Worlds, again. Doo -doo. Hey look, Papa Ganon. Everybody's favorite Ganon, right? Papa Ganon. And rubbing the controller. I know you can hear that. It's not coming up in the waveform, but I know I know you can hear it. <sighs> Come on, we gotta get that post credits epilogue saying I like that it takes you from the, the depths to of presumably Hyrule to the, the ocean surface in that little scene. Link's gotta be in green now. Is he? He's not, is he? Didn't look like it. Nope, still in pajamas. Notice that King of Red Island's dead. King of Red Island's. King of Red Lion's dead, cold, dead eyes. But now Link's leaving for good. Fuck his family, right? He'll never see his family again, but fuck them. They're going to find new Hyrule or whatever. I like that it does have the swift sail in this cutscene. Shit, your work paid off. Internet. Anchors away! Hold the tiller steadily. What the fuck is a tiller? As for our destination, the wind will guide us. I'm the waker of the winds, man. I can tell us wherever the fuck I want to go. So actually, I will guide us. Link, hero of winds, bitch. See all the tears falling down Errol's adorable face. I'm glad she didn't get raped and murdered by those pirates again. Because who would leave a little girl on a pirate ship full of male pirates? Pirates. The end. It's a Zelda game, it's fine. She won't get raped, it's fine. Really historically accurate. There you go, guys. Congrats to us. We did it together. It was fun to make it quick. And make a file for a second quest. To keep current save data, select a new quest log. Do you want to save? Yes. There you go, it's like super second quest. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, go check out my. Alex plays Zelda A Link to the Past playthrough, which I'm sure I've started. Uh, and thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. 
I only have two Zelda games left. I, I, I don't think I'll have time for uh, Four Swords Adventures or Link's Crossbow Train. Maybe Link's Crossbow Train, but I doubt it. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. Peace.